Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Chi Chi, and today we are going to have a beauty and hustle. I know it has been a minute since I have recorded a hustle talk. Um, and I'm, I'm genuinely sorry for that, you guys. Like, I have so much that I want to hustle, talk about, <laughs> and, um, we just gonna get straight to it. If you are new to my channel, um, click the subscribe button down below. You're going to love it here, especially if you're a boss and you love your beauty. Uh, you kind of get the best of both worlds sitting on that truth calendar. You do get the best of both worlds here. Um, we talk about everything, beauty and hustle. So if that's your, you know, your swig, your tea, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so today I'm doing something a little different. I want to incorporate beauty and hustle together. I'm just gonna go jump straight into it so you guys so I wanted to I really no y'all bear with me this is my first like really like talk I'm I'm not a big multitasker so like <laughs> if I'm getting into it into the topic I might stop so uh, I just want to forewarn you guys because if, if the topic get good and I start really preaching I might just have to stop so so I might just stop and give it to you. So you guys, so I wanted to talk about, um, you know, sometimes as entrepreneurs, if you ever find yourself like in the very beginning, you might find yourself very excited to start your business. And then you start your business and then later on, maybe, um, you know once your business is thriving and going on you kind of find yourself in a you can find yourself in a funk or kind of find yourself feeling like you're not going anywhere and i feel like we all get there get to that point you know then we start trying different things we start trying rebranding we start trying um you know, probably adding new products to our business, new services to our business, depending on what area you in. And honestly, I really feel like the cure to that is to go back to your why. Because um, that's kind of like where I was at a point. Uh, I feel like I, I'm just now getting back into the groove of things because I was in that funk like I was in that place in my business where I just felt like w where am I <laughs> like what's going on <laughs> seriously and it's not to say like my sales was down it's not to say like anything of that it's not to say you know it I just kind of felt like my I just I don't know I just felt like I was missing that connection to my business if that makes sense like if y'all know what i'm saying like we all have that connection to our business like kind of like i don't know i don't have any kids <laughs> so i'm gonna kind of i'm gonna kind of say it's like a connection to your baby because that's the closest thing that i can see like i just didn't feel i just wasn't feeling connected to my baby and for a while I just I don't know it just left me unmotivated when it came to certain for when it came time for me to do certain tasks for my baby to take care of my baby I was unmotivated and y'all it was it was bad and I can't I couldn't do that you know you can't do that that's your business that's how you eat you feel me so I really started once I got sick of it, like, once I was like, you know what, enough is enough, you know, I can't be sitting here, um, not, I can't sit here like this forever, you know what I'm saying? And it, it even got to the point where, like, I would see other people going hard for their business, and it would kind of make me feel some type of way. And not in, like, a jealous way, but in a way, like, dang, I need to be in that place. You know, I need to be in that space and I wasn't and it, then I get frustrated because I wasn't 
And then it dawned on me that I probably needed to rebrand. So I tried rebranding, right? Hold on one second, you guys. So yeah, so then it dawned on me like, okay, let me try rebranding. Maybe if I rebrand, you know, I would feel like I have a new baby again. Like, <laughs> oh, what if you could, <laughs> like, you can't do that with real babies, but like, oh, what if, I wonder if moms feel like that. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Is that bad, y'all? I thought about that. Oh. No, but, um, you know, you can't, you know, I was like, okay, let me rebrand and see how I feel about that. I made a new logo, you guys. I, I came up with a new name, which, which I was due for anyway. Um, and I'm happy with my new name. She loves beauty. However, I did all of that and it, it didn't hit me. It still didn't hit me. Um. I still didn't have it in full effect. You know, when I seen the new logo, I kind of got re-excited. I kind of was like, okay, yeah, this is it. I'm ready. Whoo, you know, I added some new products, y'all. And it was cool, you know. However, it just wasn't it. It just wasn't. I just wasn't back in my full grind mode, you know, like I needed to be. I just wasn't feeling that feeling that I... I wasn't connected like I needed to be. So then something dawned on me like Archie, maybe you need to reconnect with why you started in the first place. Like why did you start this business in the first place? What was your reasoning? You know? So I got I, I took some time to really focus on that and really get back to my why. Why did I start my business? You know? Why why am I why do I want to work for myself? You know? And as I started thinking about all the reasons why, baby. <laughs> I think it just like it just came it just came up. Like it was just like Boom, like, okay, that's why. That's why. If it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. All right. So, yeah, if, if you feel that way, seriously, like, I feel like if you feel that way about, you know, um, your business, if you in that space, like, that space of feeling um, unmotivated. Go back to your why. Remember why you want to start a business. Shoot. I personally, I started my business because I have a love for servicing people in the beauty industry. Like, I have a love for that. And then I, and you know... With my current situation, I can't do that right now. Right now, you know, I'll be back soon in April. But, you know, that kind of aided in me kind of feeling like, you know, dang, like, you're not doing what you really love, for real, for real. You know, not all the way. And also, me personally, I just can't work for nobody. Um, that really, when I started thinking about going back to having a 9 to 5, granted, having a 9 to 5 is not bad, especially if you start a business when you already have a 9 to 5. It's, it's, it's nothing wrong with that, you know, honestly, I personally believe people, I used to be opposed but I really think people should keep their 9 to 5 until their business is actually making at least half of what they currently make. You know what I'm saying? And then you can grind. Because we got to be responsible adults at the end of the day. Um, or, I mean, but, you know, I'm, I'm not even about to get into that right now. Because that's a, that's a really <laughs> back and forth topic. Because I'm really 50-50. Because some people can 
leave their 95, quit, and boom, take off. Like, that's just some people. And then some people may leave their 95 and it take them some time, like, like normal. Like, come on now, entrepreneurship, we don't just skyrocket and you making millions of dollars I don't know um the next day so uh it just depends on the person you know and their you know their work ethic but hold on yeah I don't lost my train of thought see this is, I told y'all this is my first one okay I'm gonna get I'm gonna get better <laughs> I'm gonna get better Okay, I don't know what to talk. But we're gonna go to <laughs> if you are motivated, honey. If you feel unmotivated, I personally uh, will just go back to your why. Let's your. I want to know what's your why. Like, if you are an entrepreneur and you're watching this, let me know in the comment section below. Like, why did you start your business? Um, and then if it's sentimental, it don't gotta be too, you know, you don't gotta do too much. Just, you know, get, you know, you just let me know a little something, something. I, I would love to see, maybe you can help others, you know. I feel like when we all see each other, you know, remembering why we started, it really helps us get going, you know. And that's what this, 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 uh, channel all about, you know, girl boss. And pop me, move me, yeah. <laughs> I'm such a head ass, it's sad. It's really sad. Okay, y'all. Uh, if it's up, then it's up, then it's that. Okay, so, boom. So I got my lip plumper on. Lips gonna be plumping while we do these eyes. Brows done. So I want to do like a neutral brown look, just because the wig, the wig that we have is very uh, brown. So I'm going to do a very brown look. Ooh, I feel it. I feel it. I'm goofy y'all so that's just period now if you are a new business owner and you're trying to like start a business I personally you still gotta you still gotta gotta do the same thing you know cuz I feel like honestly starting a business is probably the hardest part cuz you deal with a lot of no, keeping the business going is the hardest part. But you still need a lot of motivation and um I guess like what's the word? Why am I a shadow look like that? You still need a lot of motivation and you still need a lot of feeling encouraged to start the business. So I can see that. Um, you still have to think of a why too. You know, you can't be out. I mean, you can start a business just because you want to start a business. But I feel like when you have a purpose behind your business, your business would last longer. Um, simply because when you have a reason, again, like I just mentioned, I personally, we in entrepreneurship, you fought, you find times. Where you feel like, yo, what's going on? Seriously. Like, seriously, what's going on? And you're going to have those times. And when you have them times, you need to have a why. You need to have a reason behind your business. Because starting a business just because you want money or just because you want to look like a boss is not going to withstand you and and keep you motivated for when that feeling and that blah moment come because you're just gonna be like all right i give up <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go get a oh my lip tingle 
Ooh, girl. Your girl lips tingling. It kind of feel like uh, pop rocks. Like I got pop rocks on my lips. You gonna wanna have that? Why? Y'all, I'm really trying to get better in my eyeshadow. I have slacked off with doing eyeshadow. So you know how that be. Like, I feel like eyeshadow is not like riding a bike. Like, you know how certain things is like riding a bike. Like, no matter how long you put it down, when you come back to it, you good. Driving a car, you know, stuff like that. Eyeshadow, no. No, you have to all, I feel like eyeshadow, you have to always, always practice your eyeshadow or you will lose <laughs> your touch. And I feel like I lost my touch a little bit, but it's okay because we're going to gain it back. That's what these beauty hustle videos for. Y'all going to watch me gain this back. Because I used to, I used to, <laughs> child, back in the day, your girl used to slay. <laughs> And your girl used to slay, so she used to slay. Let me throw up, throw back. Uh huh. Let me throw another throw back. Your girl used to slay, honey. All right. So I need to get back. I need to find some uh, makeup makeup inspirations too. Y'all put down below y'all favorite um, makeup people for inspiration. So I can get into it. I think I'm going to start recreating looks because right now we're trying to freehand. I don't know where this is about to go. <laughs> if we be honest, like, if we be completely honest, I don't know what this is about to give. It's about to give, um, try again. <laughs> This is about to give hell no. Okay, we got a little blending going on. I guess. Alright, so, um, you know what? We're going to cut this crease, baby. Let's go all out. Because I feel like if I cut the crease, let's go a little deeper in the crease. And I'm going to cut it. And I think if I cut it, it's going to cut in the crease, kind of make your looks a little foolproof if you ask me. Um, it just always make you look snatched. So we're going to go for that like snatched eye look. I haven't gone. That's not really my cup of tea no more though. Okay, I'm going to go. I got it. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to just get to it. I'm just get to it. Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been thinking by myself, asking for help. So with 2021, I've really been trying to be very on top of my game when it comes to my, um, I mean, I'd be on top of it when it comes to my business, but I really try to be on top of my game when it comes to just being disciplined. Be yeah, so I really try to be on top of my game. When it comes to me being disciplined, like to myself, yeah, y'all know, y'all know, it is hard. It is very hard when you're the boss of yourself and telling yourself no, like, excuse me, excuse me, I just, what you mean no? Yeah, child, no. No, you cannot go out with your friends. You have inventory to do. 
Now you cannot watch that movie. Girl, you need to plan content for tomorrow. No, you cannot. Girl, spend that on that damn Balenciaga bag that you want. Because guess what? You need to take that and invest that into your business. So what? You can make more than what that Balenciaga bag costs. Girl, no, 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 no. I don't know who I was just talking to, but I was just talking to somebody. <laughs> anyway. Um, probably myself because I was looking at the Balenciaga bag, y'all. I really want it and I might just get it, but, um, <laughs> that's a different subject. No, for real though, like sometimes you, you really do have to tell yourself, being disciplined when you are, when you your own boss is so hard. Because <laughs> who am I to tell myself? No, I deserve everything. I deserve, I deserve everything. And to tell myself no, it's really ghetto. That, that's just what it is. It's just very. It's just very ghetto. You guys, I'm using um, Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. We about to cut this crease. It's very ghetto. Like. Child by. Can I see? Let's see. So we about to cut this crease or whatever. I don't know if y'all can see. Can y'all see? Does it, what does it look like to y'all? <laughs> does it look like trash? Cause if it look like trash, like let me know. Say so, no, don't let me know. Be nice and put in the comments and lie to me. <laughs>
okay and my lip combo is a brown lip liner and then I go in with Kat Von D's Blossom um, this is her liquid lipstick after that I go in with the um, MAC this is the MAC see through lip glass and then after that <laughs> we put on some more lip gloss then after that I go in with the dazzle glass and this is the MAC dazzle glass this is in press to dazzle um, and that's how I got this lip combo here I also went on and put my outfit on which is just a um this is just a what's this like a mocha color romper it's just a romper i'm gonna go ahead and put the um wig on on camera for you guys <laughs> all right let's get to it this is a closure wig i love closure wigs i'm about to put it on and didn't even get her together i love closure wigs simply because um they're really quick especially when i need to just slap a wig on get out i don't have to worry about um tacking down my edges um closure wigs are just it this lace shortage really um took us back showed us that we don't need frontals honey you don't need a frontal um i do like frontals for a certain look but it's not it's definitely not a all the time type of thing i'm taking my uh, makeup brush and i'm just going under it just to give my uh, lace some tint okay so i'm gonna go ahead and toss her on Good behind my ears. Okay. Push her back like so. Ooh, I like her. On oh, my um comb. All right, let's get into her. Let's first make sure she's <laughs> straight. Okay, I like mine's I like mine's too. And I'm gonna just take a little bit here down the middle just because my part is not it's not giving what I need to get. So we're gonna go down the part a little bit. Put that down. Freeze that bitch. Freeze it. Pat that in. <laughs> Pat her in. That's all I'm doing there. And while that dry, we're gonna get into these curls. Get into these curls. So we wanna brush. Yes, I'm loving this. So I have made a couple of these wigs for some people. Um, if you follow me on my business page, I sold a couple of these. I make them, I sell them. Um, if you are interested, this wig um is now 385. So if you're interested in purchasing this wig, definitely um, DM me here, and um, I make them to order. So yeah, but I had to make me one because baby, <laughs> look at it, look at that, that is beautiful. And I did the curls different on this one. Um, I did flat iron curls instead of like big barrel curls, which I like better. Especially for this length. Okay, so we about to make we about to make some baby hair. 
So we cut it up right here. enjoyed this look don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.